Hi everybody, it's New Year's Eve, the year is about to end, and this is a good point to say thank you. Thank you to all my supporters, thank you to everyone leaving comments, leaving likes, recommending the plugins, showing the plugins on their channels on YouTube and all that stuff. And this year my YouTube channel reached the 5000 subscribers, and I think that's quite a lot for only Tukan Studios plugins and only Reaper stuff and no scam exposed how they lie to you drama stuff, but only serious explaining plugins and that's it. So 5000 is fine. Maybe we'll gain some more next year. So now let's take a look back, see what we had this year. We had the VCA compressor series two, a compressor that sounds like um, built-in compressors from big mixers or sounds like the simpler 19-inch rack unit compressors. And for all the Daft Punk fans out there, there's the Tukan Studios Vocoder Series 2, with all that fun stuff from 70s style, 80s style, 90s style, and all kinds of um, other style selections here. Then the first instrument plug-in this year, the Poly 24, which is of course inspired by the Quark Poly 800, but it has a lot more features and it can do a lot of sounds that the original unit can't do. Then there was this massive update for the um, Sum Channel Series 2 where you can select the um, compressor module and this also featured um, the combinations of the LA and the NC compressors. And I think that was a massive improvement for that plugin. Then there was this other plugin that I put into the Orange EQ so it kind of looks like another mode, but actually it's a complete plugin of its own. And this is the Linear Phase Iceberg EQ. It has a completely new sound engine, which makes it possible to have linear phase EQing. Then there was this little helper plugin, the ABX Null Test, because not only during this year, but especially during this year, people are trying to prove something with null tests. And this was my little reaction on that. And this is more kind of, can you actually hear a difference test? And basically that's what matters. And because we talked so much about equalizers with this plugin, I made the new equalizer, the TEQ, which models the equalizer from my projection desk, which is a nice Tascam mixer. And then it took some time because making this plugin really um, was some work, but hey, it's finally there. It's the new treasure series two. And kids, I think it looks great. Then I, then I made another attempt to make a reverb plugin, which this time features another technique to produce reverbs. This is the blue lexicon with a lot of features for reverb adjustment and filtering um, and all kinds of stuff. It even has a built-in ducker, which we had as the verb ducker before series two. I kind of made a new tape plugin but as with the Iceberg Equalizer, I put that in the existing tape plugin. So you can select type B tape, have another tape sound, and here you can select tape A and tape B. So two new tape styles. And now my big, big project this year, which is an instrument and an audio effects plugin in one. And I'm so proud of it the Rotary Speaker and Electric Organ plugin called Rotary with all these nice settings here and microphone selections. And we had some videos about that. And of course, there was the matrix delay, which we just saw yesterday, but that was not the final plugin for this year, because with the matrix delay, I delivered the aux mixer plugin. So now let's count my projects this year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So this is a bit more than one project plugin, how you want to call it, per month. Well, I count this as a success. Well, I have my full-time job making plugins. It's just my hobby. And I think um, the amount of stuff that appeared this year is absolutely okay. And so, well, that's it for today. That's it for this year. 
will be online next year. Have a nice party, have fun with the plugins and bye bye.